empires. They're larger than life and they're bound to fall. I feel that in this show there is an aspect of time that's a major issue in this work. And there is a uh, degenerate or maybe impossible attempt to try to freeze time or at least slow it down. A previous project of mine, I had taken a uh, surface, I had uh, completely covered that surface with paint. Uh, then I covered over this uh, dried paint with a layer of duct tape, and over that another layer of paint, and over that another layer of duct tape, and over that another layer of paint, which was a tedious process that went on for several months. At the end of this process, I had removed all the duct tape from the uh, flat surface, and this created, by result, this embryo of duct tape that uh, was removed from the surface. Uh, it had been born from the surface. When I think more about influences on my work, uh, I think about a significant event that happened in my life. I'm the result of a cerebrate uh, mother and I feel like this has strong impact on my work, or at least I wonder how much impact this has on my work. When I look at this exhibition, it seems to me like there are uh, numerous wombs in this environment that preserve embryos inside them. Uh, sugar is a strong theme in this work. It covers the entire surface of the floor that you walk on. When the show initially opened, the surface was completely white. As the show progressed, more and more people walked on it, and it became like a film, or like a testament, of where more people walked and where people hadn't walked as much. I find this to be an embodiment of what happens in every exhibition. You bring a little bit of the world outside into the exhibition, and you carry a little bit of that exhibition to the rest of the world with you. I think for me the white represents an atemporal space, a space that exists outside of our normal physics. Uh, gravity doesn't apply to it and time doesn't apply to it in a similar way to our experience. And I feel like that's a very strong motif in this exhibition, whether through the sculptures that try to evade our normal uh, perception of time and maybe its most refined manifestation uh, in this frame on the wall. It rejects any type of image, and you're able to project any type of image onto it. Time, time is terrible. Time is a thing that we all uh, deal with. And as it continues and as it progresses, things decay. And it's a tr tragic uh, truth in life that one needs to learn how to uh, cope with. And I think that this exhibition is part of my attempt to cope with this uh, truth. I guess to me it was interesting to think about this work in relation to the earliest form of painting that I can think of, which are cave paintings. Um, you can even think of a caveman just having his hands dirty and wiping his hand against the cave that he's living inside of. And I think it's a significant moment because he's able to look at this uh, stain which has now been created on the wall and refer to it as himself. This is his first portrait. This is an image of him. And so it uh, refers to subjectivity. I wanted something raw in this exhibition, something to decay, to contrast the uh, aesthetic harmony in the rest of these works. I wanted something spiky and thorny, and I wanted something beautiful at the same time, and that's how this work came about. So the bottom section of this um, sculpture is probably the opposite of what is happening in the rest of this show. If the other elements in this show all have to do with sugary substances, uh, this bottom portion is all filled with mouthwash, uh, which is maybe the material you use to wash out this um, sugary substance from your mouth. At the top half, uh, we have a hornet, 
and it's uh, stuck to a piece of shattered mirror and it's looking at itself in the mirror. Maybe that has to do with seeing your own reflection or seeing your own image. I love random moments that you stumble upon and this was a random moment that I stumbled upon. Uh, in the foreground is a water fountain and there are two hornets. Uh, one is already dead, the other one is gradually suffocating its last breaths as we're viewing the video. Whereas in the background you see maybe the most leisure of moments, a girl in a bikini laying on a water mattress and enjoying herself. And I feel like the contrast between this leisure and between this apparent death is uh, maybe the conceptual frame that holds this exhibition together. Mm -hmm.